Hello everyone! This month, we're learning about countries in South America. We live in North America, so let's get in our plane and see where we're traveling to. Today we're talking about Mexico and Guatemala. They are here. This is a map of our Earth. We live on the part called North America, where Texas is in the United States. We're going to get on our plane and fly down Mexico until we are right next to Guatemala and Mexico, the purple and the yellow. Now that we're learning and we know where Mexico and Guatemala are, they have these little dolls called worry dolls. They look like this. These are worry dolls, and they come from a story from the Mayan culture. A princess named Xmucan was given a special gift from the sun god. It allowed her to solve any problem a human could worry about. That's us. Once the worry was shared with the doll, she could take the care out of our world and into hers. This is an example of a Mayan tradition of never setting out to accomplish anything without help. We have to work together. Those are worry dolls. And we're going to make one of our own. Except we're not going to make them out of dolls, we're going to make them out of stones. So we're going to make some worry stones. Where do we find stones? Hmm. You're right, stones and rocks are outside. So let's go get Ziggy and we can take him for a nature walk. I bet he'll love to help us. Come on. Ziggy knew exactly where to go. He started walking and leading me to some rocks that he thought would work perfectly for our worry stones. Look at him go. As Ziggy led the way, I tried to think of what I needed in a worry stone. I need a stone that is smooth, light colored so I can decorate it, and fits in my palm. <gasps> then I found some. Is this a smooth rock? No, that won't work. Does this rock fit in my palm? No, it's too little. And then I saw the perfect one. This rock is very smooth, and it fits right in my palm. I found my worry stone. Now Ziggy kept on leading me because he wanted a worry stone too. Ziggy was still looking for his worry stone, but all of a sudden he led me to the perfect stone for him. And voila, Ziggy's worry stone. We took our worry stones home and washed them. I even used some soap so that I made sure that they were nice and clean to work with. When they were all rinsed off, I got a towel and dried them off. So now we have nice clean worry stones and we're going to take a sharpie marker or any kind of marker and draw on our worry stones a little face so that we can make sure that we know which rock is our worry stone. You're also very welcome to decorate it with other colors if you have them available. I put a happy face on my worry stone. Isn't it cute? My worry stone is so happy to listen to what I have to say. Now I'm going to help Ziggy draw a dog on his worry stone because he can't really color yet. So I'm going to give ears and two eyes and a big nose and a mouth. And now Ziggy has a worry stone too. <laughs> Cute. All right, my friends. Once you're done decorating your worry stone, you're going to find a nice box to put your worry stone into, like their home. I found a pink box. 
It used to hold jewelry, but now it's going to be a home for my worry stone. And inside, we want to make sure that our worry stone is nice and comfortable because it's their home. That's where they live. So I got some cotton balls and I tore them apart because they're nice and soft. And I'm putting them in the bottom of my box so that they can cushion my worry stone. I then found a little bag just the right size for my worry stone, like a sleeping bag. And we're going to put our worry stone right in there. And now he's going to have a nice little cozy nap right inside of his bed. See his little home? Now you can keep his little home right next to your bed. And your worry stone is who is going to be a listener for you. So anytime you have any kind of problems or you feel sad or excited or happy or mad, you can go and tell your worry stone how you are feeling because it's very important to have someone who will listen to you. And it's okay to have those feelings as long as you use your words and try to communicate how you are feeling and understand that that it's okay. So your worry stone is there to listen. I hope that you have a wonderful worry stone and it's very comfy in its little home. I'll see you next time.